Hey guys, my favorite sale of the year is upon us. I've been shopping the Nordstrom anniversary sale for years. This year will be no different if you are new to the anniversary sale. It's a big sale. Nordstrom does every single year their biggest sale. It's all the new items that are coming out for fall. These are not old items that are marked down. They're the new items that are going to be on their website all fall, all winter. You're getting a first look, a discounted price right off the bat. That's why everybody loves it so much. A lot of nicer, higher quality pieces that you can get a discount on. I'm not saying everything is super dirt cheap or anything, but they're those nicer name brands that maybe you wouldn't typically get a discount on. My biggest tip I would say is to make sure you have a Nordstrom account. Make a wish list of all the things that you want because they have released their preview of everything that is in the sale now depending on your card holder status that depends which day you can shop on july 11th is when the sale officially starts if you are not a card holder then the sale opens to the public on the 17th sometimes a lot of things are already out of stock that's why i think it is so important to have the wish list though because they let you know when things are back in stock it's also just an easy way when you log in the day that you're going to shop you can just add all the things that you wanted to your cart and check out real quick. So I'm gonna share with you guys a bunch of things that were my favorites when I went through and looked at everything that's in the preview of the sale. These are all things I added to my wish list or I think that you guys might really like. A lot of these things, you can see I've brought a couple things out I've purchased in the past. This shirt, this is by Zella. This is gonna be um, in the sale this year in a different, in a few different colors. Let's jump into it. I've got a bunch of different categories of things that I want to hit on. So let's just dive in. When I went through all of the coats, I honestly didn't see anything that was too exciting for me. I didn't see North Face in it. I didn't see any Patagonia unless I missed that. Through the years, I have purchased probably three or four Levi's jackets and I think they're great quality. I love them. So I'll insert a photo of the Levi's jacket that's going to be in the sale this year. It's regularly $180. So after the sale, that's what the price will be. During the sale, it's going to be $99. It comes in this biscotti color and then it also comes in black. I have a very similar Levi's jacket, kind of that faux leather look, puffer style jacket. I wear this all the time. Through the fall and winter, this jacket is so good. I have it in a small. You can see, I'll put it on so you guys can see what it looks like on. This is what it looks like. It's super, super cute. I get questions on this coat all the time because it is thick and warm like a North Face would be, but it's just got a little bit more style to it. So I'm pretty sure I paid $99 for this when I got this coat too in one of the sales couple or a few years ago but it's literally still in perfect condition i think this is a really nice high quality jacket and i love the biscotti color so that is on my wish list this year the past few years thread and supply has offered a really cute plaid jacket they have the same plaid jacket coming on again in a different color it's regularly $45 and it's going to be $34.99 in the sale. These go super fast. People go crazy for these. They also do have another one that's regularly $50 and during the sale it's going to be $36.99. This one is also cream and it has a hood. This is a jacket that I have had for maybe three, four years now. This is a size small for sizing reference, but... It's super warm. I wear it all the time in the fall and the winter. Always get compliments on it. It's a really nice, high quality jacket. Long, goes past the butt. The fact that you can get this jacket for 35 bucks during the sale is amazing. Like I said, people go crazy for these. $35 for this coat. I added this Thread and Supply cropped puffer vest to my wish list. Um, they have a few different colors that are going to be in the sale. It's regularly $35 and it's going to be $24.99. So I've chosen a lot of things too that are very, very reasonably priced. Nothing that I'm sharing with you guys is anything too expensive, too crazy. I feel like every year I really do narrow it down to the things that I'm going to get use out of not the dressy things like they have a lot of blazers and dress pants. I am normally just wearing casual clothes every day. So those are the types of things I'm sharing with you guys and everything is really, really affordable. When I was looking through all the tops and sweaters, nothing really caught my eye too much except for these plaid shirts that 
I've got from the BP brand. This is an extra small. This is an extra, extra small. I will say they run very oversized, but these are such nice quality. These are going to be in a sale, $29.99. So that's a great deal. There's a lot of other plaid shirts that are in the sale too from Free People or Rails, which I know the Rails ones are way more expensive. I've never personally bought one. There's still like $100 during the sale. This one, I feel like 30 bucks. It's a great deal. I'll show you guys even what this extra, extra small Normally my true size is just like a small. This is an extra, extra small. You guys can see it is oversized. So I would definitely size down if you end up getting this. You can tell it goes, it goes past the butt. So great to wear with leggings and stuff like that. It's a really nice flannel feel. I've washed and dried these multiple times. Love this. Can't beat the price or the quality. On my wish list, I do have an Urban Outfitters one in my wish list. That's $39.99, regularly $59.99. That looked really cute. I added a Free People sweater to my wish list in a chocolate brown because I cannot resist anything chocolate brown. It is still $94.99, but the regular price on it is $150. bucks. i am going to share some jeans and bottoms with you guys that I think would be really good. And then we're going to move Move on to my favorite which is the active wear with the jeans and the bottoms i do have a pair of good american jeans in my wish list i normally get a pair of good american jeans every single year in the sale i've got a stockpile of them now but i love them they fit so well they're stretchy i feel like even if you gain a few pounds or lose a few pounds they're just really great and stretchy to wear they just always fit. I really, really love those. There's also gonna be a pair of Madewell ones that are in the sale for $85 regularly, 128. I've never bought Madewell jeans, but I'm gonna try them out this year. A lot of people talk about them and say that they are the best jeans they've ever worn, so I thought I'll give it a shot this year. Another thing that I noticed are these parachute pants. There's a few in the sale, but of course I added the most affordable to my wish list. Um, they're $34.99 regularly, $59. They're by the BP brand. I've noticed these parachute pants all over the place recently. They got the little drawstring on the bottom. I thought maybe now is a good time to try them since they're on sale. Keep a lookout for my haul because if I'm able to get my hands on those, I'll share with you guys what they look like on. I also have a pair of on cargo pants on my wish list. They look like they're high rise. Come in a diff couple different colors regularly, about $60. You can get them during the sale for $42. Um, I've noticed cargo pants are really in right now. And again, just one of those things where it's like they're on sale. Let's give it a try. Let's move on to the active wear. That is always my favorite thing to purchase is active wear. They always have really good active wear in the sale every year. First is these aloe leggings. If you guys keep kind of keep up with my videos, I wear aloe leggings pretty much every single day of the winter. I have quite a few pairs of their flared leggings, some with the slit on the side, some just a regular boot cut. They have a really adorable pair that are going to be in the sale. They have the slit up the front and I'm going to try to get my hands on those. Aloe leggings are a little pricier and they don't go on sale very often. So I think now is totally the time. Next, Nordstrom's own brand, Zella. They have a lot of great things in the sale. I love all their leggings. I've had some of their leggings that I bought from the anniversary sale. I've had some of them for years, but but something that I noticed is going to be in the sale again this year is this long sleeve top. Let me see if I can give you guys a view of it. You can tell it goes past the butt. It's got little thumb holes. It's this really pretty blue color I got last year. Also, the matching biker shorts, which I'm wearing right now, are also going to be in the sale. They've got a few different colors. I don't think the blue is in the sale this year, but it's a great price. I wanted to show you guys, I have these biker shorts in multiple different colors. I'm obsessed with them. These I've had for probably three or four years. They hold up great, and I am not a biker short gal. Um, I'm very, very picky about how they feel. These are super soft, stretchy and they're not too short. They also don't ride up. These are actually the only biker shorts I actually like are these. I also noticed the Zella Active Shorts are gonna be in the sale in a few different colors, and I thought I would try to snag those too. They're regularly $45, and you can get them in the sale for 25 bucks. Another thing that's gonna be in the sale 
is this really cute oversized Nike sweatshirt. I feel like this sweatshirt is always in the sale, just in a different color. I have the zip up version of the sweatshirt and still wear it all the time. Got it probably two or three years ago. It's regularly 70 and it's gonna be in the sale for $51.99. Moving on to my weakness in the sale, which is shoes. They've got quite a few different pairs of on clouds in the sale. I personally don't own any on clouds, but hopefully I will. After the sale, I saw OnCloud has a platform sneaker that's going to be in the sale for $129. Regularly about $170. They have a couple different colors. I think they're really cute. Another pair of shoes which I own are going to be in the sale are these Nike platform sneakers. I actually got these last fall. People went crazy for them and you could only buy them on like StockX or goat or something because they were just sold out everywhere so this is the platform version i know they have like a shorter version too but this specific platform version is going to be in the sale they're regularly 90 dollars. they're going to be on sale for 72.99 i highly suggest adding these to your wish list and as soon as it's available snag it add it to your cart and check out immediately because these are going to go so fast they're really cute you can tell i've Definitely worn them a lot because they're not super clean right now. They've got the brown on them and the black, which I think makes them so special. I'm trying to see what size I got on them. Okay, my true size is a seven, six and a half or seven, and I size down a little bit in these to a six and a half. So if you're between sizes, I would say go with your smaller size. Another favorite are Ugg slippers. These are slippers I bought last year. Everybody went crazy over these. These have sold out. This is a platform Ugg. You can tell I wear them all the time inside and outside. Like these get their wear. I noticed there's going to be another platform Ugg in the sale. Not exactly these, but very similar. Regularly $110 and they're going to be on sale for $74.99. I'm going to try to get those and those will be the slipper that I wear all next winter because these have definitely got their wear and tear on them. They do come in a few different colors, which is nice too. And I always get my true size seven and Ugg. I don't size down. I don't size up. A lot of the times they're very fluffy right when you get them, so you think that you need to size up, but the fluff really does wear down. They end up fitting just fine. Next, Nike Metcons are gonna be in the sale. Not this exact color, but I wanted to show you guys mine. I love these. I wear them all the time for working out. These run true to size as well. They're gonna be in the sale for 99 bucks. This really pretty neutral color is gonna be in the sale, and I feel like those would just go with all my outfits. Another thing that is gonna be in the sale are New Balance sneakers, which these sell out all of the time. I don't know if I'm even gonna be able to get them because I feel like so many people are gonna be wanting to get these regularly 85, 185 and they're gonna be on sale for about 150. So if you like a New Balance kind of dad sneaker, these have been really, really in style for the past couple of years now and they're gonna be in the sale. Um, still kind of expensive, but they will be on sale. I picked out a couple boots that hopefully I'm gonna be able to get to. Get to. Sorrel boots, the Brex boot, I believe, it's like a slip-on boot, is going to be in the sale. On sale for $139.99, regularly $190. It's quite a bit off Sorrel boots. I've had some of mine for years and years. They last forever and it's just really nice quality, especially here in Michigan. I always have to have a really nice high quality boot to get me through the winters here. So I'm gonna try to get these. I love the brown and the black mixed together because then I feel like I can wear it with brown or black. Another pair were some platform Ugg boots. I had never seen these before. They come in green and kind of like this taupe color. Regularly 170 and they're gonna be in the sale for 109. I don't know which one I want, the Sorel or the Ugg. The last thing I'm gonna share with you guys is bags. There's also gonna be tons of other things in the sale, lots of home jewelry beauty stuff if you guys want a part two leave a comment down below and let me know if you want to see what i'm interested in all that stuff i noticed they have tons of really great home stuff that's going to be in the sale but go moving on to bags though Herschel is having a sale on this really popular duffel bag it's regularly a hundred dollars it's going to be in the sale for 69.95 in a different color and a color which i actually like better than the one that we have joshua and i both use this herschel bag it's really nice quality it also has a pocket right here for shoes the inside is like a different color but it has the short straps a long strap with a little pad on it joshua and i both use this 
We love it. It's really nice quality. We've had it for years now. We also have a Herschel backpack. I love this color that is in the sale and I think that's a really good price for this bag. Another bag, I don't know how to pronounce it, but the Dagny Dover bag. It's like a neoprene material. This bag is regularly $95 and it's going to be $65.99 in the sale. I love myself a good crossbody bag or belt bag. That's usually what I use every single day. I always like to look through the nice quality handbags and stuff like that too. Normally I like to snatch up a little Tory Burch or something like that. But a couple bags I wanted to share with you guys, just really great neutral crossbody bags that you can wear throughout fall and winter. First is this Rebecca Minkoff taupe bag, regularly $228 and it's going to be on, the sa on sale for $134.99 thought that was a great price almost a hundred dollars off of this bag Rebecca Minkoff I have a couple of her bags they're great quality they're classics really nice quality leather and it's gonna last you forever too so I thought that was a really great just neutral bag that you could wear with everything another bag I picked out was a Cole Haan bag I thought this was really cute for fall I love that you can use it as just like a shoulder bag or a crossbody that one's regularly $248 and it's going to be in the sale for $164.99 those were my two favorite leather handbags because those were just bags that I felt like you could wear with anything dressed up or dressed down their neutral colors were really nice just overall bags that is all my picks that I wanted to share with you guys today make sure to check out the description box where I'm going to have everything and a few other things that are on my wish list that I didn't even have time to talk to you guys about today because I didn't want this video to be forever long but check out the description box make sure to have an order from account make your wish list so you don't miss out on anything from the sale also I want to know what do you guys love getting in the sale every year? Leave it in the comment section. I wanna know what did I miss? What do I still need to add to my wish list? I wanna know what some of your favorite picks are every year too. I didn't really talk about like sunglasses, accessories, makeup, jewelry, things like that, home decor stuff. If you guys want a part two, I'm happy to do that video too because I did see some really good things um, in the sale from those categories as well. Get ready, it's gonna be a great sale. I'm gonna share my haul a full try on when I get everything in. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys really soon in my next video.